Happy Christmas. Good morning. It's, it's arrived. It's Christmas Day. It's been a real special and enlightening three weeks, hasn't it, on this Christmas journey to get to this point. Take time in this break to think back and perhaps thank someone who has contributed to this series. And reread those Advent pictures that were put there to instill that sense of expectation. My favourite? Advent. Sunrise. Open the blinds. The sky is all the colours. Darkness shrugs away. This morning, I wanted to leave a simple thought in your mind. How did Jesus look back and see his own birth? Well, we don't know too much, do we? We're not sure if Jesus ever returned to Bethlehem, the place of his birth. There's no record, though at times he was just a few miles away. It seems the slur on his mother's character on him went throughout his life. The carpenter's son said with a knowing look. In their minds, he was Joseph's son conceived out of wedlock. But what do we know? How did Jesus look back on the day of his birth? Let's use our imagination. I was born in a little bungalow on the village of Nelson on the Gower on the 26th of September 1961 at 5.30 in the morning to John Edward Davis and Sheila Margaret Davis, Nee Thomas. How do I know? Well, by the birth certificate, of course, and also the stories from mum and dad. How many times have I asked and been told how I arrived before my dad got back with the midwife? Just as a new day was dawning. And how my dad locked himself out of the house and had to climb through the bedroom window. And how my mum knew I was okay because I was yelling. And sometimes adds with a twinkle in her eye, and you've not stopped since. How hours after I was born, my dad was tossed over a farm gate by a bull. How do I know? I was asked, I asked, and I was told. Don't you think Jesus would have asked? I wonder how Mary told him the angel's visit, the trip to Judea to see Elizabeth, the census, the journey to Bethlehem, the place of birth and the time of birth and the unexpected and unlikely visitors. As Jesus looked back on the years that followed, did he reflect that he, the bread of life, was born in the house of bread? That's what Bethlehem means, the house of bread. Or that he was wrapped in swaddling bands, just like sheep in the fields that surrounded Bethlehem as these sheep were prepared, these lambs were prepared for Passover. Did he wonder if he had met some of those shepherds in the years that followed as they delivered their sheep to Jerusalem during the times he had visited growing up as the family had gone from Nazareth to Jerusalem for Passover? Passover. Behold the Lamb of God mm, that takes away the sin of the world. And the timing. Why now, Father? Why at that time? Why this time? Listen to the words of Paul written some 50 years after that precious time we're thinking of, the time of Advent. 50 years later, Paul writes, And when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman. God sent him to buy freedom for us so he could adopt us, his own, very own children. May you reflect with joy, wonder and worship and a big thank you to Father in heaven this morning because we're told he is with us as we celebrate his birthday. Because Paul continues, and because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Thank you, Father, for giving us your son. That's how much you loved us and love us. Thank you for giving us your son, knowing that we would bruise him and smite him from this earth. Hallelujah, my Father. In his birth is my hope. In his death is my birth. In his life is my life.